Manx Radio Saturday Live Lounge, supported by Villa Gaiety. For the latest Watson information, visit villagaiety.com. Another awesome event is happening very, very soon as well. In fact, it's on the 18th of May, the week before that. Now, you might remember me chatting with songwriter Callum Broom around about this time last year, in fact, about his idea for an event that essentially has two purposes. One, to raise awareness of mental health issues and raise money for mental health charities. But two, to promote and support songwriters' original music. Well, he is back. He is doing it again because it was so successful last year. And my word, he's got some excellent people on board for the event. So I caught up with him and also June Christian from I'll Listen, which is the charity he's raising money for this year. And I started by asking Callum where the idea for the event came from. I see on social media about what, about what goes on in, in England and in other parts of the UK that they host songwriters charity events. And so, I th- and so I thought, why can't we have something like that over here? Because the songwriter's talent is there. We just need to have that platform to be able to perform in public our original content. And because it's for, for mental health as well, uh, which, because it's mental health awareness week, it's quite it's quite apt um so i was chatting to my friend mike wade um over at the black dog oven in peel we came to a two agreement that we were going to have this charity songwriters event and i got in contact with june to talk about up to um for for i listen for for being the main charity for this event well, Jim, let's come to you because it, 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 this covers a lot of bases, really, for you, doesn't it? Because, you know, you've been a music promoter and supporter for many years over here. And uh, you also now working with I Listen. I mean, this does tick those boxes, doesn't it? Because as Callum was just suggesting there, music can be really good for your mental health, can't it? Yeah. And he's right. Over here, there aren't many places for people to go and express themselves when people find themselves in all sorts of tricky situations a lot of people do turn to music they tend to listen to music tend to write music performing music just art in general so it's great what Carl's doing and you've even yourself have organized events sort of for mental health yourself haven't you yeah yeah something that I really enjoy doing it's something that we do at our listen now as well through the music and mental health series our listen live and we did the heavy mental health with Jenny and stuff so it's good Performers love it. You've got a lot of people on this year, haven't you? There's lots of people. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we've got a few new performers this year, which I'm really glad about. Well, do do the big old advertising post then. So where yeah. and when is it? We've hinted at Peel. So, so again, it's at the Black Dog, uh, thanks to Mike um, and to the Black Dog team. Uh, so it's going to be good. We're hoping to have a special pizza made. I'm hoping that that's going to go through. Fingers no pressure, crossed. Mike. We believe in you. No, thing, no <laughs> pressure, Mike. <laughs> and, and Josie as well. And um, what's the date of it? It's the 18th of May. So it um, is fast approaching. So it's fast approaching. Uh, 18 days from now, or 17 days from now, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 2 p.m. start um, through till through till about uh, 10 o'clock, half 10. And my word, you've got a heck of a lineup. So you kick things off, don't yeah. you? Um, then after myself, it's a good old Alex Harris, who is getting back into live music Yay. as well and performing his own songs as well. Um, after Alex, uh, we've got Steve, we've got Steve Nash and Sabina. Uh, Otherwise known as uh, Nash, Nash and Bean, Bean yeah. which is a so, great, great little duo. Um, name. Yeah, so we'll be so we'll having them for thirty odd minutes, and then after that. After Stephen Sabina, we've got Matt Kelly. A uh, bit of a which, local legend. Uh, yeah. And after Matt, we've got three debutants. Tell us about Dylan. No, um, Dylan Dylan is a guy that I heard about when I was when I was performing at the Open Mic Night at the Heron, uh, organised by Alex Cowley. But he does his own songs, mm-hmm. from what I understand. Um, but we don't know uh, what style of music he performs it's going to be it's going to be a magical surprise yeah my neighbor 
wasn't he, with uh, Matt Burroughs? And, oh, and Steve Henfrey, yeah. Oh, and, so um, that's where Dylan's They played from. at Compton, yeah. He was, he was the, They're awesome. He used to do the dough shift at Secret Pizza back in the day. Yeah, he's a good, he's a good one, yeah. Next after Dylan is Mr. Terence George, which, mm. which is, which is going to be great as ever. Uh, Terry's a good lad. And Matt Burroughs as well. Uh, so we managed to get him... And Terry and uh, Dylan involved as well. And yet, then you've got the winner of the of, Riffs original of, songwriting yes, competition. Yes. Now, that was something that I had come up with at the very last minute. Because I was actually at the final at Quids and I thought, why don't I get the four finalists? Unfortunately, they all said yes. Yeah, so, so you've got Wes Clark. Yeah, so we've got Wes again, and uh, we've got Wes Clark and Dan Looney again. Um, again, Again, great guys. And the next act is one that most people would have heard of, Joey Wilde. Yes. My good mate, Joey. Well, speaking of Joey, to remind ourselves how great he is, here he is with Can I I Hold Your Cake. It's 3 a.m. The phone rings, this is the end. Now you live in my memory. I wish the time would just stand still So I could tell you how I feel About the life you gave to me Although you couldn't fly You changed the world with just your smile There's no denying I'll always see the hero that's inside And in my mind Cause it's so hard to say goodbye We weren't given too much time Now you watch us till we wake So can I hold your cape? I'm trying so hard not to cry Though the tears fill up my eyes You are the best man, no mistake So can I hold your cape? Look at the pictures on the wall There you are, you're standing tall Looking after the family And there are things we've learned to know Like how to make your garden grow It's always beautiful to see And when we were in need You come to us with super speed We all agree this house just ain't the same without you with me So when I say believe me Cause it's so hard to say goodbye We weren't given too much time Now you watch us till we wake So can I hold your cake? I'm trying so hard not to cry Though the tears fill up my eyes You are the best man, no mistake so can I hold your cape? Life goes on Now you've gone We'll do our best to make sure she's alright I didn't understand When you took my hand This was just your way to say goodbye Spread your wings and you learn how to fly Like a hero, you soar it through the sky Cause it's so hard to say goodbye We weren't given too much time Now you watch us till we wake So can I hold your cake? I'm trying so hard not to cry the tears fill up my eyes You are the best man, no mistake So can I hold your cake? Can I hold your cake? Can I hold your cake? Hold your cape. 
That was Joey Wilde. Uh, the most recent one I have from him, that's called Can I Hold Your Cape? And it is a tribute to a family member. It's a beautiful song. Joey Wilde is just one of the people performing at the Black Dog Oven and Peel on the 18th of May. It all kicks off at 2pm. Uh, there's also Wes Clark, Steve Nash, Dan Looney, Matt Kelly. The Ballags are finishing it all off with an extended set. And the whole thing has been put on by Callum Brew. Callum Brew has decided to raise money in this event for I'll Listen. And I asked you and Christian, what events like this mean for charities like his? Well, community events such as the one that Cal does are so important to I'll Listen because they they do that really, really difficult job of raising awareness, not only of the charity and the money that will get raised on the day. It's about ensuring that we're looking after each other. Mm -hmm. And anybody that knows anybody that might be struggling is aware that there is a place for anybody under 25, anybody in the schools that has a short turnaround on waiting times and is is, is available and there's, there's plenty of people out to help. So... You know, little events like Cal does. We do hundreds of them. Then we're, the island's in a far better place, and it's great for the artists, as you say. Like I, I, I love putting on music events, and it is, it is super satisfying when you get a room full of really talented people who don't often get that chance to do what they really, really love because they're afraid to do it in, in the pub, or then, or they just don't get the opportunities. Or and new artists coming through. It's brilliant, and people should aim for the stars. Yeah, they, they, sh- are. they really Good should. Show. When they go out and they they play these songs, now, Rigel, so they got they got to give it their all because you never know, do you? That's so true. You well, listen, know. it's always a joy catching up. So again, we need a, we need a good old final plug. So yeah. place, so, date, time. Yep. So inside the mind of songwriters for mental health, um, 18th of May at the Black Dog, um, Oven and Peel, uh, two p.m. start through till uh, ten o'clock, half ten. Uh, make sure to enjoy the event, uh, come down, support the charity, support the artist, um, but also to appreciate their, their creativity Yeah, as well. That's the key thing. Appreciating the creativity will mean a lot to these artists. Well said. Because it'll be songs that they will have written, you know, whether it's their, whether it's brand new songs that they've only just written and... And, as, and they have performed in in recent months and weeks, but also to put the old songs that they've written out, you know, out of the books and onto the stage. It's a good showcase, isn't it, for them? Yeah. A really good showcase for them. Shows uh, their journey. It does show their journey, quite right. And too. I am hoping that we are, and I'm... A little bit of a disclaimer for next year's Summer is about. I'm already He's already I'm, on I'm, it. I'm already thinking ahead. <laughs> there is gonna be the potential of a band coming from continental Europe. My word. Um, I am I am discussing with the leader of the of the band um that perform slightly folky music. Are but, they gonna be on Eurovision this? No, they're not. No. As ever, it's all about charity. It's all about music. It's all about original music. Uh, Callum Brew, well done for organising another fab one. We look forward to hearing how it goes. Get yourselves <laughs> down Go there to the Black Dog Oven. Garamayed! Garamayed! I love how it sounds like at the end of that chat, after uh, Callum says, no, they're not on Eurovision, it sounds like he throws his papers down and storms off. He didn't, I promise, he really didn't. <laughs> anyway, many thanks to Callum Brew and Jew and Christian for that chat. Callum, who's organised the event, and Jew and Christian representing, I'll listen there. Uh, well, really, what we should do is give you a taster of one of the acts again that is going to be playing. It is a live lounge, after all. And a little while ago, Terence George, who is going to be playing at this event, popped into the live lounge and recorded a little session for us. I thought you might like to hear it. Uh, This next song is called The Birds, or AKA The Train Song. The Train Song? Yeah, it's nothing to do with trains, but it kind of, um, it's like when we're playing it as a band, Ed, the drummer, has kind of got a bit of a shuffle on. It's kind of got like a sort of sound to it, so that's where that name comes from. Everyone knows it's a train song now, so cool. I stay in bed all day Trying to keep my mind from going astray Telling me with their eyes That I need to behave I look 
cut it the lights Reach out and I hold the world tight We've only got an hour Until we all wake up Now I hear the birds Calling in the break of day They tell me not to misbehave that I shouldn't stay away I'm sleeping through the morning In through the afternoon It's usually the night I choose The only time where I don't feel confused So leave me be This world is my fantasy Give me all the love I need Now I hear the birds Calling in the break of day They tell me not to misbehave And then I shouldn't stay was Terence George recorded for us in the live lounge not too long ago now and uh, Terry is playing at that event inside the mind of songwriters for mental health is at the Black Dog Oven on the 18th of this month so uh, not next week but the week after get yourselves down there raising money for I'll Listen it is a fabulous event Manx Radio Saturday Live Lounge supported by Villa Gaiety for the latest Watson information visit villagaiety.com